there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today you are joining me for Coco and Dollies, which is the same as coffee and dollies, but um, I'm wearing a Santa hat and I put a little bit of chocolate in my coffee this morning. Um, I don't really drink cocoa per se, uh, mostly because it's not really a thing I ever remember to keep around the house. Uh, I do like Starbucks hot chocolate with soy milk though, so yeah. But today we have coffee with a little bit of chocolate in it and that's kind of like cocoa, right? So this is the video where I chat about what's going on with my collection, what's going on with my personal dolls, what's going on with all things content and hobby and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna launch right into it because these tend to run on the longer side. <laughs> um, and I don't want the length of that to be intro. So, so first let's talk about new dolls. Uh, there are no new dolls. Uh, since my last coffee and dollies, I have gotten no new dolls. Um, I have purchased new dolls. But because of like the way a lot of pre-orders have kind of been delayed um, and things have kind of been like slow a little bit shipping wise, uh, I haven't gotten a new doll in a while, even though I purchased them. I did get my wrapped Danny like straight away because I bought her in stock, but she was an impulse purchase and yeah. <laughs> Remember my uh, no impulse purchases 2021? Yeah. Um, but I do have some dolls on the way uh, and coming soon. The ones that are showing up really shortly are, um, I think the next doll that's gonna be showing up for me is the body to a head I have that is back there that I'm not showing you. It's a surprise, it's a secret, um, but it's a boy doll. And I'm really looking forward to him. Um, I don't want to tell you about him too much, but I did buy him a Doll Family H body and that is coming uh, any day now. <laughs> and then I can finish the video. Unfortunately, it probably won't be posted until next year just because uh, we're really running towards the end of the month and I, I don't have time to cram that in. But he's going to be super cute. I got the head. I painted it. I fell in love with it. I can't wait to see him put together. Um, and I think he might even be like Bijou's boyfriend. Oh, actually... <laughs> Well, if you can see what's happening back there, Bijou's holding his head. Uh, you can't tell what who he is, though, so it's okay. So that's the next thing coming. Um, I do also have um, an Ebony Bodhi doll from Glow Moon Dolls and my friend Isabel on the way, like really on the way, like should be here in the next five to seven days on the way. Christmas. Um, they said they'll be back. So there's other packages for us, but the way that her truck was packed right to the roof, she okay. said she can only get the small parcels off the top, and then she'll have to loop back to get the bigger stuff underneath. Oh my god. Yeah. Bigger stuff? No, just... Okay. Mine! Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I have a uh, Ebony Bodhi on the way. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's my Bodhi doll. Um, perhaps. Okay, uh, but I got her in the ebony skin. I have not seen a human doll in a black resin that wasn't like an orc or some kind of extreme fantasy character. Um, I'm so excited to figure out what I'm going to do with her. Um, I think I've, I think I had settled on a name, but I'm not sure. I'm going to wait until I see her to talk about it too much. But that's like my next full doll that's coming. Much anticipated. Very excited for it. Uh, cannot wait. And like that it com it's coming from like a dear friend of mine it's just like oh it just mm, mm. also coming soon uh my frapzilla uh dandelion moon loopy shipped a couple days ago um and i'm really excited to get that one i'm going to talk about this one for a moment we're gonna have some coffee first because and i'm gonna talk about this now because when i do my unboxing video I want to give myself the best chance to connect with this doll. Um, and sometimes when a pre-order or um, a purchase is very stressful um, or turbulent, I think is the word I would use here, makes me have a hard time connecting with a doll. It's been an interesting pre-order. So it is the artist's first pre-order, uh, but a lot kind of went awry during this pre-order. Um, and I have a hard time when, like, 
like I have a hard time being like a go with the flow type person. I'm a planner and I have a really hard time when things uh, deviate from the plan. And this doll deviated from the plan a lot. Um, when I purchased it, I purchased it as part of the first pre-order that was initially it was supposed to be a limited resin from their first caster, which was like a glowy French resin. And it was supposed to be delivered by July. So I was supposed to have the doll by August, really. Um, they had said like three months. Uh, they ended up changing casters because the doll was not... Like they didn't like how it came out, I guess. Um, they, I think they wanted a more matte resin was the big thing. So the caster got changed and um, now the dolls were supposed to be arriving in September. Uh, and then uh, we, it kind of like, it was like October and we hadn't heard of anything. And then it was like, okay, they're going to be soon. And then, okay, now it's going to be for Christmas. And um, it's a, it's like a week before Christmas here um, when I'm filming this, like about a week and a half. Um, it might be here for Christmas, but it wasn't the delays that kind of like stressed me or like felt turbulent for me. It was um, setting a date and then the date passing and not hearing anything. And then um, like three weeks after we were supposed to hear something, finally DMing and it being like, oh, it's going to be new date time. And um, I just like, it was just really hard for me because like I kept getting my hopes up and getting really excited that the stall was coming and then it didn't. Anyways, that's the kind of tea on that. Um, I'm going to do my very best to love this one because it's a beautiful doll. It's super cute. And uh, I really do want to fall in love with it. So, you know, wish me luck. Okay, now that we're done with that tea, um, there are other dolls. I know, we're like nine minutes in. And there are other dolls. So <laughs> let's talk about them. Um, I... Impulse jumped on an artist pre-order for a 1-6 scale curvy doll, and that is the Skyland Dolls Piggy. Um, I came across her, I can't even remember, I think she was on my Explore page, and I just thought, oh my god, she is so cute. She looks, I don't know how to say this, like, other dolls don't really look like my dolls, like my doll line, like Hollow and stuff, and she doesn't look like Hollow. That's not it. She looks like she could belong in the same universe, like in the same genre, I guess, of doll. And as soon as I saw her, I said, she looks like Clover's little sister. Like, I don't know what it was. And the fact that her name was Piggy, um, and then Clover is based on like a pig <laughs> slash sheep. Uh, we'll talk about Clover later, but um, I was just like, oh my God. And then uh, they said they were six or 600. $300 and $300 for an artist doll um, is incredible. And the turnaround time is really low because the artist's brother does the casting service. Why don't I have a brother with a casting service? Oh my God. I have an ACDC dolls Maya in peach skin coming. She's going to be my era like my ACDC doll Tink's sister. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited to get her. Uh, she's so pretty. And she's kind of got this like updated body where she has like a little more jointing and she's a bit taller. So I think she's going to be a great like big sister. I'm so excited to get her in. I love ACDC doll. I love their dolls. They're super well priced. Um, it's a Korean BJD company. Um, the resin is super nice. They, um, my Tink at least came in this like hard case that I use all the time, constantly, I use this hard case. Um, anytime I bring a doll anywhere, that is the case I use. I, lo I love them. Um, and I'm so excited to get this doll. Um, so stay tuned for that video. So dolls that are gonna be a little bit, I guess now. I have a Monique Explore Dolls Rain I just paid off. She is in the pink skin. I really liked her really unique eye shape. Um, she had a really like different face to a lot of my dolls. The artist was really nice. I uh, interviewed her for my interview with the artist series. And that series is kind of like a trap for me <laughs> because I in, like I invite artists into interview with the artist when I really like their dolls. And um, 
it's unfortunate slash fortunate because I also tend to meet like I do these interviews and I get to know the artist and then it's like now I need to buy their doll because I want to support them as a person and because their doll's really cool it's like a double whammy um it's great <laughs> but I think I've bought dolls from most of my interview with the artist series um where they're available uh I also have a yummy sweet dolls and zoo coming this is interesting because I'd never heard of this artist before and they ran their pre-order I think it started like three days after Hollow's pre-order and I was like oh what a cool doll I just thought she was a really cool like interesting looking doll I love the skin tones um there were two different dolls there was Umi Ume I'm sorry and Anzu I'm if I'm butchering those names and um I didn't have money at the time <laughs> I was running a pre-order and um, pre-orders be expensive. Uh, so I did message her and I said, hey, because I had hit my minimum for hollow already. Like I had already sold enough hollows to be like, okay, broke even, we're good. Um, so I messaged her and I said like, hey, if your pre-order goes well, um, I can't afford one of your dolls right now. Um, but would you want to like tr swap, like trade pre-order slots? And she was like, yeah, if I sell my minimum or whatever, like definitely. So then we got in touch after and we traded a pre-order slot each uh which was super fun for me and i also have um a doodle's dream me sow head in caramel forest i wanted the whole doll i wanted the whole doll and i thought i was ready because i forgot how much doodle's dream dolls cost it's a lot uh it's not like a lot but it's it's more than I remembered it being but I had a hero and that hero is DX girly everyone let's take a moment okay just me all right everyone I'm just we'll, I'll pretend we all clapped okay uh, DX girly uh came through for me so I messaged her and um I said like oh I saw you got um you got on the doodles dream pre-order um what did you get and she got a Clementine Lily, I believe, in Caramel Forest. And I was like, do you think you could... I'm so excited. That head is so unique. And it can share the body. It's the same resin tone as my uh, Clementine Lily Peach. Oh, where is she? She's down. She's down there. You can't see her. But the same resin tone. So I'm like, they can body share. So yeah. Uh, thank you again to DX Girly for making my Musao dreams come true. Because, uh, oh my god, I was going to be so sad if I missed that one. Um big FOMO on that one. Okay, we are many minutes in and I really hope some of you are still here hanging out with me because I want to talk about Clover. I want to talk about Clover and my other dolls but like I want to start with Clover because I'm I am bouncing with excitement for Clover right now. So um, if you don't know Clover is my second BJD I'm sculpting um, in my doll line. My doll line is Teeny Tinker's Dolls. Um, and you may have seen a couple of versions come up across my videos already. I have them here. So this is my initial polymer clay version of Clover. She's tiny. She was just like a pro, ooh, don't drop her in the coffee. Um, like a style, like give me a feel for the kind of doll I wanna make. Hands in clay, take me away. Okay, uh, and then Clover, like, would it be 1.0? Because that was like a, yeah clover 3d 1.0 um this was the test print it's tiny um it, the color's weird i know it's it's beige 3d printer resin and pink and i really thought i was doing something and instead it's like a neon coral <laughs> it's just glowing so um yeah this version was like fine it was a lot clunkier but the proportions were really cute um, the features weren't as defined in the face, like, uh, the neck hole was very small. You can see how tight that is. Like, it just kind of just sits in the hole. And then, yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? And then the chest wall was really thin, like, it was so thin. I didn't realize when I was doing it, like, mm. um, yeah, like, it was okay. And it has really, like, the clunky knees. If you saw Hollow, you know what I'm talking about, the clunky knees. The clunky knees are gone. We'll talk about that after. But um, yeah, it had the clunky knees. And so we did some edits. 
and we worked and we got uh, Clover 2.0. So this is Clover 2.0. Oh, we'll take these off. In her MSD form at last, there were some edits made um, between that one and this one. Um, so the f we're not gonna about the feet because um, I printed them out without the rods and I had to hot glue them. <laughs> I had to hot glue them to the uh, impromptu S hooks. So we're not gonna talk about the feet for this one, but we're gonna talk about the knees. Um, so these were the knees after some modding. They're not bad, they're okay. Um, they're really like kind of squared off. Like the original print, they were tight, 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 tight to fit in there. And even here, like they're okay. It's not fantastic. Um, and they stick out a lot more. See at the back like that. Uh, the hip joints, you can see that they kind of sit not quite the way I'd like. See how there's like some gaping here? And you can see it from the side. It's I don't mind the little gaping there because it helps them when they're sitting and stuff. Like fill in the spot better. But you can see like there's still a little gaping. So that was fixed. Um, chest wall was still thin on this one. A little better but still thin so it's thicker it still had um i made the neck hole bigger but i didn't make the neck any bigger so now it, it kind of had a bobblehead effect the head cap's not good we're not going to look at it um <laughs> we're just not going to look at it uh and it, she had hands like on um like where the wrists and the hands were like one piece so the hands were not removable she is she very cute yes like regardless still a very cute doll i'm was still very happy with her but there were some definite edits i wanted to make before um like i had a, a version that i was like okay this is the one i'm gonna work on to like have produced and that's where we have clover 3.0 clover 3.0 so um excuse the fact that clover 3.0 has beads instead of hands and feet and that is because um, her feet are, again, they're printed, but they don't have the rods in them. So she can't actually, I can't test string them on her and I wasn't gonna hot glue the doll I'm working on. And um, the hands I've switched to a magnetic wrist, like what Hollow's got. So she's gonna have magnetic hands as well. There's no head cap on, it's again, head cap fits beautifully, is in the other spot, wrists and feet and hands fit beautifully, but they're over there. We're not gonna talk about those right now. Um, so this is the un unfinished. There's still a bit of work, but she's a lot better. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more smoothing, but she is quite shiny. Like she is, it's coming along. Okay, so let's talk about the knees. Um, this is the new knee. It's a lot smaller and smoother. So there's a little more of a lip here, but the movement is much easier. Um, so you do kind of pull things out to lock them into place, but you can see from the side how much more in line this is with the rest of the leg. So if I straighten her knees out now. So when she's standing, this is her natural leg position. She kind of stands a little splayed. Something else, like, okay, so I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. So these are the knees from the back. You can see much smoother. And you can also see that she kind of curves in. This is on purpose. And it's because when she sits, so her knees like move much better with the motion uh, to here, you'll notice that her feet kind of come inwards. Um, I have had this thing with dolls where uh, when they go to sit back and their um, calf is directly under their thigh and they fall over because if you think about it, that's not how people sit. People's legs don't do that. At least mine don't. Um, your thighs are kind of in or your calves are in and that's how you balance. So I was trying to keep that going. So if she goes onto her knees, her feet will naturally come together. But if you move her where she would be sitting more back on her heels, she can't go all the way back onto her heels. And um, if I wanna keep her standability, integrity, and all that. Okay, this is where she goes to sit back. But when she sits back, her knees will um, naturally splay out a little bit. 
see the shape so it's in and then out and it just helps her you can't see but it helps her balance really well of my hand obviously i'm really happy with it um i'm very happy with the shape like the appearance of the knees they sit flush in the very front and then they kind of round out around the sides again because i want them to be able to kind of go to the side a bit i've been playing with the uh positioning of it for a hot minute and this is where we've landed. So you can see there's a lot less gaping here. There's a little bit still in the tops of the hips, but that's what allows these balls to come all the way up and it, it's flush, it's smooth. This is also very important to me that when the doll bends its leg, there's not like a huge ridge of resin that shows here. Like I, it's just like a smooth like butt, like not to be weird, but like in pants. Um, I want the aesthetics to look good under pants. So yeah, um, that's the legs. Uh, I didn't change a lot in the belly ball. It's slightly, slightly shorter than the last clover and it kind of sits more like in less of a lip. Uh, she has the same posability as before um, in her nice like thick chest wall at the front now so that um, my caster will be happy and that she won't chip. But yeah, so same thing where she can bend all the way and then all the way again. Same like great chest posing and uh, torso posing as hollow. That's why I kept this jointing system. I just, I really love the posing, especially for someone who just stands or sits their dolls most of the time and isn't doing like intricate poses with them. Just being able to like twist and stuff is fantastic. Uh, these are the elbows. Um, hollow and Clover both have these rounded elbow channels now. So, um, yeah, it like improves the posing and it improves the ability for the string, like the elastic to not get caught in the corners. Um, I'm going to talk more about this kind of stuff. I'm doing a video about prepping clover for the caster. It's obviously this clover. Um, so that's going to be in January. And I'm going to talk more about why I've done certain design elements and stuff. Um, yeah, and uh, if you're interested in that, that's coming in January. So stay tuned. Um, Besides that, the only other, oh, there's two more changes um, besides the head's cap fitting is I added a ball. She's very loosely strung, a ball to the top of the neck. So the reason I've done this is number one, it fills in this neck hole I've created really well. And then we can get a lot smoother lines while we're posing. Um, when she's strung tightly, she'll probably only go to about here. We can get her further now, but I think once she's tighter, it's going to be more there. Um, same, it'll probably be to about there versus like all the way down, but we get like all the side, like we can do the full swivel. Um, I've also changed the mechanism inside this doll. So I changed to like this slot system. I don't know if you call it a system. It's just like, um, a slot, like shaped like this, um, inside the head. And there's a ridge so that when you pull the S hook through, you twist it and it just sits in that lip. Um, I've also made the area around the eyes, this is another change, um, much larger to accommodate up to 18 millimeter eyes. They would take up the entire eye hole, um, but 12 millimeters are my favorite for her, but 14s work as well if you're going for a real baby look. But yeah, that's, this is where Clover is. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Again, like she's very smooth. In some places you can tell like over the belly, she's like shiny in the light. Um, and then there's other spots where like, on her legs that are a little more actually she's pretty shiny but there's some spots where um i can definitely polish her up a little better for me it's worth it to send my doll to a caster and then like have like pro levels made even if they're just for me um to have her cast professionally and have like two or three um like sample dolls made for myself on to hollow so hollow has had some changes um hollow has the same type of knees as clover now so um, for everyone who ordered the hollow, um, just as sturdy standing, she stands very well too when she has feet, um, just as sturdy to stand, but, um, much more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, that's it though. Like otherwise, like pretty much everything's the same. Um, the caster is sending me a sample before Chinese New Year to approve the changes, um, in a cast form, I guess. Um, I'm hoping to have, if they send it before Chinese New Year, I'm hoping it gets here in early February and then I can just approve, like say like, yeah, that looks great. Or like, yeah, change this one thing and then let's go. 
whatever it is. Um, and we're still on track for end of May. I've mentioned a few times that I'm also working on a human doll. Um, I'm still working on her. I'm So I keep making her head over and over and it's pretty similar every time. And she's, I think she's really cute. Um, I wanna do some test prints of her, but I, don't know, I need to work on the ears a little more. Human ears are really difficult and they don't look quite the way I want them to. So yeah, still working on that. She is coming. Um, I have changed the fact that um, I was gonna make her a body all for her own, but I think instead I'm gonna have her share the hollow body. From here forth, the hollow body is gonna be called like my curve body or my thick body um, or midsize. I think midsize is probably the most accurate description of hollow's body. And then, um, the clover body will be the petite body or um i don't know small <laughs> like i don't i don't know um but yeah so i'm hoping to have her like done like the head done sometime next year takes a little bit of the pressure off because i'm i'm not trying to complete a whole third body it's just um getting the head and the ears and stuff the way i want them but her name is so the pop i can tease her the um like a rough illustration. So this is her, yeah, I know my art, okay. Like we don't need to talk about it, but this is um, So The Pop. I'm not gonna talk too much about her because she's still very early stages, so yeah. Um, I have been getting so many messages asking about minis. And by minis, we mean like mini clover or um, there's like some mini hollows up here. People love the mini size. Um, there's a lot of people who can't uh, either don't collect larger dolls like MSDs or who can't afford artist dolls or anything. And I'm still playing around with how that would work. I don't know that I want to offer hollow and clover because I feel like that could detract from their MSD versions. And I don't know that I want to do that, but I do think I might work on a similar, um, simplified line of 30 centimeter 3d printed dolls so what i'm thinking is they'll be 3d printed dolls but fully assembled so like a base doll fully assembled um in resin printed on like the highest quality so um for people who don't print dolls or use printers like that kind of printer um there's a thickness for each layer and um if you print at like something like 0 0.05 millimeters, um, you see a lot more lines and it's a lot, uh, there's a lot more, it's a lot more obvious it's a print. Uh, when I printed, say, um, this Clover, for example, she's printed at 0 0.01 millimeters, which is the smallest she can, like the smallest the layers can get. But um, it takes a lot longer and if I figure I want to print high quality prints, um, I would also like to control like the stringing. I would like to control like all that. I think for a base doll, uh, like blank, it'd probably be about 200 USD, uh, but that's like a strung assembled sanded doll. Uh, it just happens to be 3D printed and not cast. And then have an option to add um, eyes and a face up for an extra $50. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe do a couple full sets. I don't know, but I really would like to make some kind of like affordable, uh, option for people or like options for people who collect the minis. Um, the minis would be similarly styled, um, different head sculpts though. Um, I've already started working on, um, kind of like a clover alternative, which is kind of like it kind of reminds me of a kitty cat. I think, I think it's really cute. Uh, but yeah, like similar dolls, not the same sculpts. But yeah, like let me know what you think of that. All right, that's pretty much everything I had to talk about today in today's Coco and Dollies. I'm also almost out of Coco. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I know this one was really largely based around like my, like my sculpting and my personal dolls and production on that. But that's where... 99% of my focus has been in the last like four or five months. 
So uh, I just, and all my other content is about like unboxing like clothes and like try-ons and stuff like that. And I really, I just really wanted to talk about my doll line for a minute. So that's what this ended up being. Um, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, if you're new here, or if you're one of the people who is always watching my videos, hi guys, uh, but is not subscribed, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I post twice a week, so you'd be up to date on like posting and all that. I even set things as premiere. So if you're subscribed, you'll see the premieres and um, we can have like chats and stuff in the sidebar, like usually my interviews with the artists and stuff. All right. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day and happy holidays. Bye.